and welcome to this video. It rarely happens that I fall in love with the visual appearance of a lock so much that I spend some money in getting it. But this lock here is the perfect example. When I saw it on eBay, I knew that this lock should be mine. And when it finally arrived, it was even more beautiful than expected. But before I show you the lock, I want to pick it and it's closed and it's not an easy pick actually. You can see the, um, the key pin is a serrated one and I believe it has all serrated pins, drivers and probably key pins. And I, I start with a deep hook from Sparrows. And I know the binding order approximately because I've picked it before. I wanna, and I want to do a, a careful picking not to leave any visual marks. So going straight to number two. Got some clicks here. That was one. Got one click. Check two again. It's set. Three. Four, five, and I'm trying to pick through holes of uh, this piece here in the warding. So use a less deeper hook, also one from Sparrows, going sideways to the pins, release tension a little bit and just touch them. It's not too successful as it looks like. Maybe two is still not at the right height. Maybe now. A bit cumbersome to work under the tripod. <laughs> but I do the best to get a good shot and here we are, it's open. Yeah. Now, zoom out a little bit. I want to polish it before I show you the full beauty of this lock. Yeah, and here it is. Hey, camera, focus. Yeah, it's a Yale and Town full Bronx padlock, 30 millimeter. Beautiful piece of of a padlock. Isn't it nice? Look at the color. Look at the shades. Look at the um, patina. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. I really love this lock. And here it comes with two keys. Um, show you this one first. It's a um, a spare key. It says Cleveland Key Shop and yeah, let me zoom in. Made in USA for Cleveland Key Shop and on the other side the Yale and Town MFG Corporation maybe. Yale. That's the bidding by the way. So you can see that uh, pin 2 is a very short key pin uh, hidden behind a, a very long key pin uh, at number 1. But now I will show you the original key. Here it says Yale and it has the bidding code, but it's not actually the bidding, it's just a, a code for the bidding, I believe. It's the same number as you can read here on the uh, keyway. Uh, Yale and town. And uh, on the other side it says, when buying extra keys, accept only those made from blanks marked Yale and then here on the on the round part Yale made is Yale marked that's pretty awesome 
and here it says security. Yeah, well, bronze, um, and it's a, it's a different shade, different color than brass. Here I have one uh, made of brass for comparison. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. So it's uh, locked up, and I want to operate it for you. It's it's not a fat click. It's a very faint sound, but it's I love this look. Yeah, so that that's basically it uh, that I wanted to show you. Ah, look look at here. It's it's not just a a key with a hole in the um, in the head. It's it's um, yeah. There's there's an additional um, um, a rivet or I don't know the correct name. Um, um, to make it nicer for whatever goes through this hole to have no uh, sharp edges. So it's it's absolutely nicely made, beautiful and uh, probably quite old. The person who sold this lock to me, he said that it's probably a hundred years old. So if you know anything about this lock, so approximate age or anything else you could uh, tell me, I'll, I'll be happy if you could um, um, write this in the comments. Yeah, so <laughs> enough of this. Um, it will go straight to my uh, collection and um, I will be um, happy to look every day on this beautiful lock. All right. Thank you very much. Oops. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye.